I'm about to start watching Secretariat streaming on my PC through Netflix. And while I'm watching it, I'm going to set up Replay Video Capture to do a screen capture of the player that will be so beautiful I can burn it to DVD and play it on a widescreen TV and it will look just as good as the original. Let me show you how to do this. So first of all, here is the Replay Video Capture user interface. All I need to do is go to Settings. It brings up the Replay Video Capture Settings window. I go to Recommended Settings. And because I have a dual core computer, I'm going to go to DVD videos and click OK. It then asks if I am in the United States or not. And so I click yes, I'm in the US. And then it asks what aspect ratio I want. And I want widescreen. Click close. It has now set my audio and video settings so that my PC will be able to capture this with the best possible quality it can. The only other thing I need to worry about is setting my recording time and I've got it set for 2 hours and 15 minutes and I can see down here that the movie is 2 hours and 3 minutes so I'm fine. And then I might want to name it and then click close. Only other thing I need to do is click get window. I hover my mouse over the player and you can see it's defining the player window. I click one more time. It's now defined the player. The only thing I want to change though is I want to close this up. I don't want to get this stuff in the player. So that's it. So that's the size of my screen that's going to get recorded. You always want to try to make your screen as small as possible. You don't want to record in full screen mode because that just takes too much of your computer processing power. And you want to focus the computer processing power on making sure you get as beautiful a picture as you possibly can. So that's all there is to it. I now just click record on the replay video capture user interface and play. And I am all set. Once you've finished recording, all you need to do is click view. It brings up the saved recordings window and here is my file, Secretariat. If I right click, rather than to go to convert burn, I'm going to go down to DVD and make DVD files. It brings up this little window, make DVD files. And look how quickly this is going. It's creating the files that I'm going to need to burn to DVD and then the DVD burning process takes no time at all. We'll hurry up and finish this. Normally, encoding the DVD and burning it could take as long as an hour and a half, sometimes longer. This process takes just a few minutes. Once it's finished making the DVD files, I put a blank DVD into my PC, and this autoplay window appears with this option, Burn Files to Disk Using Window Explorer, already selected. And that's what I want, so I click on it. It then brings up the Burn a Disk window, which is asking me how do I want to use this disk, and it's already selected with a CD DVD player. I'm going to change the disk title to the name of my DVD and click Next. It then asks me to select which folders I want to burn. So all I could do is go to Videos, Replay Video Capture Recording. There's a DVD folder within it, and there is my Secretariat DVD folder. I click Burn and burn to disk. The burn to disk window opens, says disk title, secretariat. I click next and there it goes. It's already burning. It's so simple. And here is my DVD. Look how spectacular it is. The results are so great and the process is so easy. I hope you enjoyed checking it out.